Hi ladies, have you noticed how it's getting harder and harder to lose the weight as we get older, as we age? If in our 20s we were able to lose those few kgs just by a little bit of exercise and a little bit of change of diet, and in our 30s is harder, 40s is harder, 50s almost feels impossible. You know, our favorite jeans get too tight, the favorite dress we're planning to wear to, uh, to an event, we don't feel comfortable in it anymore, maybe it doesn't fit at all, or uh, we see photos of ourselves and just hate what we see. I hear you. There is a reason, there is a reason. There's a few reasons actually, but today I wanna to focus on our major reason why it's getting harder for us to lose the weight as we age. And it has to do with our hormones. Now, when we hear the word hormones, we often hear about, we think about procreation, about women, but men, our hormones have to play major roles in our digestion and our ability to lose weight. Take, for example, our thyroid. Our thyroid is part of our hormonal function and it's in charge of our metabolism. If our thyroid doesn't work very well, we're not able to metabolize properly. Take insulin, for example. Insulin and the pancreas are part of the hormonal system. If we don't have enough insulin, it doesn't work properly, we can't burn the sugars that we consume, and so on and so forth. Hormones are also in charge of how full and satiated we feel. If the hormones are not working properly, again, and what happens, it's interesting that our hormones level, for example, take your DHEA or, or estrogen. Estrogen is a big thing. We peak in our 20s. That's the time where we have the highest levels of uh, estrogen. By the time we're 50, we have about half. We're left with about half of what we had in our 20s. What that means is that as a whole, our levels of hormones just decline and decline as we age. After menopause, they even drop dramatically even further. By the time we're 60, 70, we're left with only 20% of what we had in our 50s. What does that mean in, in our 20s? So what does that mean? That we have less, the body has less of hormone reserves to work with. And that means that it, it cannot, it has to do compromises. There's a lot of functions that it can't do. However, don't despair. There is good news. If you have been to any of my hormone talks or my menopause talk, you would have heard me talk about the endocrine economy or the hormonal economy. Rather than having to understand what every hormone does in your body, all we need to understand is that our hormones are part of one system and our body is able to make one hormone from another. So all we are left to do is to make sure that we have enough hormonal material, so to speak, enough hormonal reserves. And that we can do by doing three major things. One is increase the foods, drinks, and activities that nourish our hormonal system. The second thing is to decrease or eliminate the foods and activities that deplete our hormonal system. And the third thing is to improve the actual function of our body, the actual ability of our body to produce the right hormones. And that makes, that turns the hormonal system to, we have more reserves, and then all of these things are easier and weight loss suddenly becomes easier and effortless. Take for example, one of our ladies that joined us about a couple of months, started working with us. She, early 50s, about 53, she has done a lot of yo-yo dieting. She, and with good results, she has tried your Atkins, she has tried the high protein, she's tried the ketosis, she's done the gym, she's done all of these. And at, at times she lost like, at some stage she lost like 20 kg and she was very happy. But as things progressed, she ended up with a thyroid condition, so she's on thyroxin now, and um, high cholesterol. And by the time she came to us, she was really unhappy. Her gains, her results by herself were very small, and then she would put it back on. So she decided she's going to ask for help, which is great, good on her. And then we started working together, and it's been about a couple of months. By now, she has lost about over 8 or 9 kg last time we spoke. And on Monday, she just rang to say that she's had some bloods done and her thyroid has improved. So her doctor has reduced her thyroid medication and her cholesterol has improved by a lot. And she was just overall really, really happy. 
So if you're in that boat that you feel that um, shifting the weight is very difficult for you and getting over those cravings is a challenge and you want to see if you're ready to reach out for help, so let's just send us a message and see how we can help you. Okay, bye for now. I hope you learned something. Bye.